whether the calculator thing helps you, you can scroll across the list. It shows you an entire row. You're always going to notice that it's symmetric around the middle. Sometimes the two values in the middle are going to be the same. Sometimes there's going to be a middle value. If I, if I did that again, but I made it 8 now, if I made it 8, actually, let's make it 6 so we can maybe see the whole thing on here at once. It'll, it'll give me an error because it's not going to like that last one. But if we do this, this is going to be the whole row that, that deals with n being 6. You notice this one, there is a, a single middle value, whereas the other one, there's two middle values because it just depends on whether there's an odd or an even. Some of, some of the rows are like this. There's two values in the middle. There's no single value in the middle. Some of them, they're all paired up, but then there's a single value in the middle, right? It has to do with whether n's odd or even. Right, if n is even, 2 from 4, 3 from 6, 10 from 20, it's going to be a value in the middle. But when you're choosing from 3 or 5 or 21, there's two middle values. The thing is symmetric like that. That's the easier pattern to understand. If you want some uh, mathematical uh, rationale for that, we can. Uh, the ones that I have highlighted here, what value do you think that is? And what value do you think that is? Well, I told you what 1 is, 5C1. 5C1 is going to be the same as 5C4. Let's make it a little bit trickier here. 73C30 is going to be equal to 70C, 73C43, right? The rest of them. Choosing, um, choosing 30 people from a group of 73 is the same as choosing 43 from a group of 73. If I say, okay, there's 25 people in this room, five of you, get out of here, don't ever come back, I don't want to see you again, right? I don't know, it doesn't matter, we don't care. If we say five of you, get up, get out of here, I don't care what order you go out the door, just get out of here, please, okay? If I choose five people from 25 and say get out the door, I don't care what order you, you go in, here's 25, right? Of your 25, I'm saying five of you are leaving. We don't care what order. The other ones, there's 20, right? Do we care about the order of the ones that are staying? No, doesn't matter, right? You don't care about the order of either group. So then reversing it doesn't make a difference, right? If I pick five from 20, because I could have said 20 of you stay here, the rest of you... Are, go over there, I don't care, right? Like, whichever one is the ones you're choosing, it doesn't matter. It's really important to understand that combinations are going to be symmetric like that, but permutations are not, right? If I change that situation around and said, five of you get up, go out the door, I don't care what order you go out the door. If I change it now to saying, five of you get up and make sure you go in a certain order, like if I care about the order you go out, if I care about the order these people go out, but I don't care about the order of the people that stay, if I reverse it, it's not going to work anymore. Like if I reverse it with permutations, this is true for combinations. But if I reverse this and say, okay, 20 of you get up and go out the door, but I do care about the order you go out the door, that's going to be different, right? 25C5 is the same as 25C20. Whether it's the 20 you care about, like the 20 that are being chosen or the 5, if you do 25P5, this is definitely not equal to 25P20. It's not equal if it's permutations because there's, well, why is it not equal if there's permutations? Because order matters, but like why, which one of those is going to be a bigger number? Which one? Which one is going to be more ways you can rearrange them? If I'm choosing 20 from 25 and trying to count how many ways I can line them up, or 5 from 25 and count how many ways I can line them up? There's going to be way more ways you can line 20 people up, right? There's a lot more ways the more people you have. If I did that same thing on the calculator for uh, permutations, it's not going to look like this, right? So if we, the, the one we just did was that, right? You notice that it goes up and then back down again, right? Because choosing one, or sorry, choosing zero of you, none of you get up and go out the door, and I don't care how many ways that happens, there's only one way that can happen, which is what you're doing right now, which is just sitting there, right? If I say, everyone get up, get out of here, I don't care how you go, just get out, 
there's only one way that can happen too if I don't care what order you walk through the door, right? If I care about what order you walk through the door, so if I change this now to, this is kind of degenerated to, not degenerated, but it's uh, gone off on the tangent of just in general combinatorics, which is fine, because I think it's really important to understand this, the difference here, while we're talking about this. If I do this, this row is not going to be the same. It's going to continue to get larger all the way across. The beginning is the same by the looks of it. If I say nobody get up and go out the door, it doesn't matter whether I care about the order you go out the door or not if no one's going out the door, right? If one person gets up and goes out the door, it doesn't matter what, whether I care about the order or not. The only time this starts to make a difference is on the second one. All right? on the, Sorry, once there's two people involved. You notice that this starts off 1, 6, 15. The 1 is missing there. But 1, 6, 15. This is 1, 6, 30. As soon as I start counting the order that you go out the door, when there's two people, from 6, not from the whole class here. As soon as I start counting the order, when there's more than one person, then there's more ways when it's permutations than combinations. And this continues to get bigger. When you get to the very end here, if all of them, all six people are getting up and having to count the orders, it doesn't go back down to one again. It's up at 720 because there's a lot of different orders if you care about the order. If you made, if you made Pascal's triangle with permutations, it doesn't look like a symmetric triangle. If you want to generalize this, this is where people start to uh, moan and groan and cry and stuff like that because they don't like it with variables for some reason. If this is, if we call this, um, well, let's do this first. If we say that this is 10, so this is kind of not quite a generalization yet because we still have a specific number there. 10 CX, what is that going to have to be the same as, even though it's a variable involved there? What other thing is it going to have to be the same as? 10C, 10 minus X. What if this said NCR? What is that going to be the same as? NC, N minus R. Right? It looks harder when it's like this because it's letters, not numbers. Okay? It's easier when it's numbers because you can think in concrete terms. But just see what that means when you think about some specific numbers there. Notice that it's not true if we change those to capital P's in the middle there. That is the uh, that's the symmetric pattern. This recursive pattern, in theory, you know, but we should think about it still. 